Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about my 2020 Ford F-250 67 Power Stroke and manual regeneration with the uh, ability to turn on or off auto regeneration. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is the agenda. What is OCR? What is auto regeneration control? When does regeneration occur? My two observed possible parameters. And then when can you initiate an OCR or manual regeneration? So what is OCR? This is straight from the owner's manual, page 198. It may be different in your owner's manual, but this is what it says in mine, okay? So, operator commanded regeneration or OCR. If your vehicle is operated with significant stationary operation, low speed drive cycles less than 25 miles per hour, short drive cycles, a drive time is less than 10 to 15 minutes, or the vehicle does not fully warm up, passive and active regeneration may, sun, may not sufficiently clean the diesel particulate filter system. Operator commanded regeneration allows you to manually start regeneration of the diesel particulate filter at idle to clean the filter. If you are not sure whether your vehicle has this feature, contact an authorized dealer. And let me tell you, from 2017 and newer, it doesn't matter what trim level you have. It could be an XL, it could be a limited. OCR is available in all trim levels. I had a 17 King Ranch F350, I had a 19 F250 Platinum, I have a currently, I currently have a 2020 F250 King Ranch, and I have OCR turned on. It is available in all trim levels, including the, lux the more uh, luxurious models, okay? From 2011 to 2016, it was only available in the XL, XLTs, and that's what most dealers are familiar with. As a matter of fact, most dealers don't even know OCR is available. They have no idea, and that's sad because shame on you, diesel mechanics at these four dealerships, and you don't know about this. Shame on you. And shame on you because a, a little Joe Schmo like me has to tell you that this is available. Okay, anyways, rant over. It, it's just irritating. When I go to a dealer and I talk about this and they're like, what is this? I don't know what this is. I've been in the business for 40 years. Sorry, sorry, rant. Okay, uh, next paragraph. When to carry out OCR. You can use the OCR feature when a message appears in the information display and you are not able to drive in a manner that allows effective automatic active regeneration or if you choose to manually start the regeneration of the diesel particulate filter manually while the vehicle is idle. Okay, so when you go to the dealer and you want them to turn on OCR or you're using Forescan to turn on OCR, you want to go to IPC, Okay, dealers, listen up. You want to go to IPC. You want to look for diesel manual regeneration. You want to download and run that program. Then it'll give you three options. Option one, less manual regen uh, initiation. That's what the truck is factory set at. Two, manual regeneration or regen initiation. That gives you the ability to see your diesel particulate filter percentage as well as you, you can conduct OCR when it prompts you, but it doesn't give you the auto regen checkbox option, okay? That's where option three comes into play. Manual regen with active regen inhibit. Now, that doesn't mean active regen will never happen, okay? It means that it gives you the operator to let your truck automatically regen on its own. You can keep it like normal, or you can turn it off. That's what that means, okay? It doesn't mean that active regen will never happen, okay? That is incorrect, incorrect, okay? I have proof of that. I'm making videos on it, and I showed you guys that just recently, okay? Okay, let's go to the next page. What is auto regeneration control, okay? This is straight from your owner's manual. It says automatic regeneration control, okay? Page 200, if your vehicle is operated with sufficient stationary operation, low speed drive cycles less than 25 miles per hour, short drive cycles, drive time less than 15 minutes, or the vehicle does not fully warm up, passive and active regeneration may not sufficiently clean the diesel particulate filter system. You can switch off automatic regeneration until better driving conditions are available. For example, steady high speed driving. 
you can then switch automatic regeneration back on to clean the diesel particulate filter. This is a great option. This picture is straight from my truck in my previous video, okay? I had auto regen turned off and it gives you a little indication, okay? This is the cleaning diesel particulate filter symbol, right? It says off, okay? This is a great feature. Now, if you want to let your truck do its normal regen thing, you can turn it back on and keep it on and it'll regen like normal. And we'll get into that in the next paragraph, okay? On well, the next page, all right? But um, I wanna talk about this right here, okay? Uh, you can switch off automatic regeneration until better driving conditions are available. Okay, so what does this mean? Look, we've all read the forums. It's happened to me in my previous Fords, right? You're driving home. You're like five miles away from home. You're tired. And the truck suddenly goes into regen. And you're like, crap. You pull in your driveway and you got a choice. You can either turn off the truck, cut the regen in half, or you can just continue driving until the regen is complete. Or you pull up into your driveway and the truck decides to go into regen. You're like, well, crap. All right. One, it's not good to shut the truck off in the middle of a regen. Can you do it? Absolutely. Is it good for your diesel particular filter lifespan? No. It's recommended that if your truck is in regen, that you let it complete its regen cycle. So that way it burns off all the soot and you don't have to worry about that. You know, some people complain about my truck regens all the time. Well, are you turning your truck off in the middle of a regen? Your truck is not able to complete a full regen. It means if the truck is 100%, if the, re, the DPF is 100% full, you cut the regen in half by turning the truck off. Now the diesel particulate filter, let's say, is at 50% full. Well, you start driving again, it's not going to go into regen again. Okay, Ram will continue to regen, but Fords won't. Okay, you, you start your new driving cycle with a DPF that's 50% full. Then it'll take half the time to fill up back to 100, then it's like, you're like, well, my truck just did a regen like 200 miles ago. Why is it a regen again? And then let's say you turn your truck off again, 25% into the regen. Well, now you're like 70, your, your DPF is now 75% full. And then you start driving again, like the next day, and then your truck goes into regen at 100 miles. You're like, well, my truck keeps going to regen. Well, that's because you keep turning your truck off in the middle of a regen. You're not allowing your diesel particulate filter to be 100%, to be cleaned out fully, okay? All right, it's best to allow the truck to do a complete regen, all right? That's why I love this feature because I hate, I hate it when the truck decides to go into regen like right when you're getting to your destination or you're just a few miles away from your destination. That's super irritating, okay? You can turn off your automatic regen until when you know that you're going to have more time to drive and allow the truck to do its thing. You can, you can allow the truck to do a regen when you're on the highway or when you know that you've got 30, 40 minutes to just drive and not interrupt that regen cycle. Okay. For example, right? For example, steady high-speed driving. You can then switch automatic regeneration back on to clean the diesel particle filter. Now, I did this in a previous video, okay? I had, well, I'll, I'll get to that in the next, in, into the, uh, in, in the next uh, page, okay? All right, let's go. All right, here we go. So when does regeneration occur? Now, this is uh, my observations. This is what I have noticed, okay? Now, there are two uh, basic parameters that will cause your truck into, to, to go into regeneration. Again, this is just my observation. Okay. If there's any actual diesel tech that can engineer that can come out here and explain this, cause you can't find this on anywhere at all. It, it's everything you see online is operator observed, uh, observations. Okay. These are my observations. There are two, two reasons why your truck goes into the region. One, you reach the 500 mile limit marker. Now that is in the owner's manual, page 197, under active regeneration. It states, your truck will go into regen between one and 500 miles, 500 miles being the limit, okay? Or two, your diesel particulate filter reaches 100% full, okay? Now my truck, my 2020, I have observed that it regens every 500 miles. However, there was this one time it regened at 386 miles from 
it's last regen. And that threw me off. I'm like, what's going on? Why is it regening at 386 miles instead of the normal 500 miles? That caused me to go to the dealer and get OCR turned on so that I can see my diesel exhaust filter percent full, right? So, and then what I also noticed that um, when my truck, so I reached this particular regen cycle, I reached 500 miles. My diesel particular filter was actually at 90% full, okay? It didn't go into regen until I turned on automatic regen because I was already at that 500 mile mark limit. Now, before this video, I did another test, okay? I, did, I didn't do a video on that, but I should have, but I did, I did a test, right? Where I was monitoring the exhaust filter percentage versus the 500 mile mark. Now, in this particular incidence, the diesel particular filter got to 100% full, and it was actually really close to the 500 mile mark, like a few miles off, and the truck went into regen when it reached 100% full. And that was at like 400, like 95 or some miles, something like that. I don't know, it, was really, it was basically 500 miles, okay? But the point is that either when the truck, uh, when the diesel particle filter reaches 100% full, it'll go into regen. Or if it reaches 500 mile mark, it'll go into regen. It's basically winner comes first. You know, whoever comes first, whoever crosses the finish line first is when, a deep, is when your truck is going to go into regen, okay? Now... When can you initiate an OCR? Now, I kind of already talked about this here. When to carry out an OCR, right? But there is, so let me get to this little point right here. Is there a checkbox option for a manual regen? The answer to that is no. You can't go into settings. You can't go into advanced settings and find a box that says manual regen, OCR, turn on and off. You can't, that doesn't exist, okay? OCR only happens when the DPF is 110 to 120% full. Then when the vehicle is in park, it'll give you the option to do a manual regen. Hence here. Okay. It and it let's see here. A message appears in the information display. Okay, and you are not able to drive in a manner that allows effective automatic, right? That's that 500 mile mark or DPF 100% full active regeneration. Uh, that's when you can conduct an, an OCR regen. Okay, now the, these numbers here is what I got from the diesel tech. Okay, the diesel tech guys that I know, these are Ford 6 7 power stroke diesel technicians, like certified Ford technicians. Okay. They explained to me that OCR will only happen, it'll, the truck will only give you the option when it reaches 110 or 120% full or, or more, okay? The, actually, the Ford diesel particular filter can reach up to 200%. I didn't know that. I did not know that, okay? Uh, that's what they told me. And I was like, oh, that's very interesting. So, actually, when... When the truck, when your truck reads 100%, it's actually 50% of the 200%, if that makes sense, okay? It means the DPF has a lot more storage available, and that's good to know, okay? That's really good to know, all right? Um, but anyway, so to recap, right, when the truck, when your DPF reaches 110 to 120, somewhere in between there, percent full, and your vehicle is in park, Obviously, uh, it'll give you the prompt. The messages will come up and give you the option to do an OCR. If you're on the highway and if you have auto regen turned on, right? Auto regen turned on like normal. The truck will just one. The truck will just go into regen when it hits hundred percent. Okay, it's not going to get to hundred percent percent. It'll just go into automatic regen. Okay. Um, now I plan to do another test. I I'm going to see what happens if I push that 500 mile mark limit. I'm gonna, one of these days, I'm gonna test the truck. I'm gonna see if I can do a regen at 1,000 miles, like the Ram trucks. I'm gonna go 1,000 miles without doing a regen. 
I know that after I hit the 500 mile mark and when the DPF gets to 110 to 120% full, the truck's going to scream at me to do an OCR. It's going to be, it's going to give me a message every time I put the truck in park uh, to conduct an OCR. But I'm going to ignore it until I reach a thousand miles and then I'm going to turn OCR, I mean auto regen back on and allow the truck to do a regen on the highway or I may do an OCR. As I may do an OCR because an OCR regen cleans the filter a lot better than an active regen on the highway. It like it does because it's it, it just does, okay? Uh, one OCR regens are 30 plus minutes long. Regen active regens on the highway from what I have noticed with my truck is anywhere between I don't know, the lowest I've got was like 13, 12 13 minutes to 20 minutes long. Okay? Um, but anyway, so that, that pretty, that pretty much sums up, um, OCR manual regeneration with auto regen inhibit. So I really hope this video has, will help somebody. Um, if you go to dealer, sorry for the rant earlier, but it just, it blows my mind that a lot of dealerships don't know that this is available. Okay, and then when you try to explain to them that it is, and they, they tell you, no, it's not. It was only available for the 2011 through 16 models, and it, it's only available in the XL, XLT trims. Like, they clearly don't know what they're talking about. Okay, especially when they say, I've been in the business 20, 30 years. Okay, and how do I know this? Because I go to dealerships and I talk to them. Okay, and they don't know. Even... Uh, other power stroke channels have talked about this about other dealerships and they don't they don't know <laughs> they, they don't but anyways i hope this video helps somebody out and helps you better understand ocr auto regen um because this information i believe i wish ford engineers would be uh honest and clear and you know, they put this information out there in the public, make it available for people like me. Okay. Average Joe, they probably don't care. Right. I wish TFL truck would talk about this, but they don't. Okay. Yeah. It's great to know new horsepower, torque, power levels. Okay. What's been changed with the emission system? What, what are the upgrades, the emission systems? They won't touch that. Why? I don't know. Why? Why would you touch it? Whatever. But, uh, little Joe Schmo. You know, uh, I'm trying to get this information out there from my observations and from what information I can gather. So I hope that helps. See you in the next video.